It is possible to improve audio quality way better using only two effects in Audacity. Audacity is free software and can be downloaded from this website. If you do not have Audacity installed, please download and install it. I will be using this piece of unedited audio to show the demo, let's hear it a bit. In this channel, I discuss about audio editing, video editing, and use of some softwares. Okay, I can see two main problems in this audio. It has some background noise and the volume of the audio is low. I will use normalization and noise reduction to improve the audio quality. Noise reduction will take care of the white noise I have in this audio. Normalization is the volume control or loudness control. When we record audio, normally the recorded volume level is not perfectly loud. So we had to increase in post-production and normalization assist in this volume control. I select the whole audio and make a duplicate. I will keep this one unedited so we'll be able to compare after adding effects. Noise reduction is the first effect I will apply. Select a silent part of the audio and go to effect, noise reduction. This silent part will have only noise, no actual voice, and can be selected from anywhere from the audio. I have selected from the beginning, but you can choose from anywhere as long as it is the noise you want to remove. Please keep in mind Audacity can remove only white noise. So if you have a noise like a dog barking or busy traffic, you can't do much with that noise in Audacity. In the first step of noise reduction, you have to click Get Noise Profile, and Audacity will now recognize that kind of sound as noise. After giving Audacity the noise profile, the actual noise removal process begins. Select the whole audio and go to Effect, Noise Reduction again. This time you have to configure noise reduction settings. The first slider is for how much noise you want to reduce when a matching noise with the profile is found. You may be tempted to set a higher value, but that has a side effect. If you set the noise reduction value too high, it can destroy your actual voice. So noise reduction value should be as low as possible. The default value is 12, and it works okay in most cases. If you still have some white noise with this default value it is okay. That little white noise is not being heard in normal volume even though you can see it in the audacity meter. Sensitivity decides how aggressive the noise reduction will be. The higher the value, the more aggressive audacity will be in noise reduction. The noise profile you have chosen for noise reduction is matched with the audio. With higher sensitivity, noise reduction becomes active even with the low matching between noise profile and actual audio. If sensitivity is set at zero, then no noise reduction happens. You should not be too aggressive with noise reduction or otherwise, it destroys the audio. Default 6 works fine, and I will be using that. If you need a higher value in noise reduction and sensitivity, you have to think of a different recording strategy. These default values in Audacity are good enough to reduce the noise of a laptop fan or a distant AC unit. Frequency smoothing is not related to noise reduction directly, but it works after noise reduction. After noise reduction, a gap may be introduced in digital data, and frequency smoothing bands minimizes that gap. The default value is 3, and 0 means do nothing with the gap. If you set the value to 3, the voice sounds quite different. From my personal experience, one does a good job. It reduces some of the harshness introduced after noise reduction, which keeps the voice sound like the actual voice. So choose either 0 or 1, whichever works for you best. Click OK and noise reduction is applied. Now I will normalize this audio to increase the loudness. Select the whole audio and go to Effect, Normalize. The first checkbox about removing DC offset is not exactly part of loudness control. Sometimes hardware issues can lead to DC offset issues which are rare nowadays. Still keep the checkmark as it will have no side effects even though your audio has no DC offset. The peak amplitude value sets the maximum loudness of the audio. So the loudest part of the audio will reach this level, and all other parts of the audio will be below that. The maximum allowed value in this field is zero, and you can also see that in the playback meter. If you put a positive value in this field, the OK button becomes inactive. 
For a balanced audio recording, choose a value like minus 5 or minus 6. For example, if I set 5 here, most loud audio will hit this spot in the meter. By balanced recording, I mean not much difference between the loudest and quietest parts of the voice. So with the peak amplitude of minus 5, most of the audios will be in this minus 12 to minus 6 region which is a pretty good output volume level. Let's apply it. So it is now normalized and you see in some parts some noise is back. As because normalize is volume control, it raises every part of the audio at the same ratio as it increases the loudest part. For this type of small noise dots, you can select and delete those or apply noise reduction again. I will keep those as it is, as it is not a big deal. Let's now listen to the edited and unedited one and listen to the difference. In this channel, I discuss about audio editing, video editing, and use of some softwares. In this channel, I discuss about audio editing, video editing. In this channel, I discuss about audio editing, video editing, and use of some softwares. So you see much more improvement in the edited one. You may say, aside from the increase in volume level did I improve anything in the audio? Well, noise reduction played a big part in this improvement. If I applied only normalize, but not noise reduction, you would notice a quite loud hissing sound. Let's check that. So you see a loud hissing noise in the silent part. Even this hiss is noticeable behind the original voice. In this channel, I discuss about audio editing, video editing, and use of some softwares. In this channel, I discuss about audio editing, video editing, and use of some softwares. If you are a beginner at audio editing, I suggest you start with these two effects. Once you get more experience start with EQ and compression also. I have a detailed video for that and please check it from the link in the description. Besides audio editing, you have to take care of your recording environment. The link for that video is also in the description. Thanks for watching this video and let me know which topics you would like to see next. Please check the other videos in this channel to know more about audio editing and video editing.